Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? You are welcome to my channel. If you are new on this channel, my name is Henrietta and I share with you some powerful spiritual tips that will break you out of poverty, that will remove hardship and penury from your life, all your life. See, if you believe in God, all your life, only enjoyment and congratulations will be permitted in your life from now on in the name of Jesus. Amen. So please, if you like spiritual tips like this, try to subscribe and turn on the bell so that whenever I make such videos, you come and watch and you will be richly blessed. Thank you so much. Today, guys, I'm going to show you another quick way to receive quick answers to your prayers. See if you can do this. If you can do this, whatever you want, whatever you want, you will get urgently. This is one quick way to get quick answers from God. Because at times, when we pray and pray, we feel that God has not answered our prayers. That is not true. God answers prayers. It's just that we don't listen. The only way to get your answers, for your glory to manifest, is for you to meditate. When you pray, you listen to God. See, every request you have come with an instruction from God. If you want this from God, God will always tell you how to go about it to receive the blessing. It's just that we don't listen. And when you don't listen, there is no way. There is no way you can get your answers. Because if God wants your answers, your miracles to be from here, and you don't know it will be from here, you reject here, how can you get your open doors? There is power in meditation. What is meditation? When you pray, you keep quiet, listening to God, open your heart. And at that point, it's not as if because you are quiet, your mind will now be somewhere else. It is easier to pray, but more difficult to meditate. When you pray, at times, you fast along with your prayers and you listen. You go to a quiet environment, sit down, close your eyes, and you will listen because at times, we pray and pray. We feel that God has not answered our prayers. We feel that God does not listen to us. We feel that the road is not yet opened. And whereas it is opened, God has answered your prayer. It's just that you have not listened to know what he wants you to do to get such things. Maybe you want a life partner. See, God will definitely pass a message to you telling you where to get that person, what to do to get that person, and some things you should stop doing to get that person. God always passes a message only when you can meditate. There is power in meditation, in listening. So from now on, when you pray and pray and pray, listen, listen. Don't just keep on praying and praying when you are done praying. You feel that no answer is coming forth, you start complaining. No, listen, there is power in meditation. If you want a child, or whatever you want, God will give you instructions. God will tell you what to do. He will deliver a message to you. Only that we don't listen. So what do we do about this? Because not until you listen, you will not know what God wants you to do. You will not know what God wants you to do. God has a particular instruction for you. You have to listen to get that instruction. All of those things you have been praying for for years, the reason why you have not gotten them is because you have not listened. He has already released your blessing. But you need to do certain things or to go to certain places to get your miracle. But you will not listen. At times, God can send a friend or a total stranger to deliver a message to you. There was a woman looking for a child. So as she was walking, an old woman passed her and told her, Stop, excuse me. Go to the orphanage and give them anything you have. God will bless you soon. She did as the woman instructed and she got pregnant. So maybe there is something God wants you to do. Or there is somewhere God wants you to go to to get your miracle delivered. So if you don't meditate, if you don't listen, if you don't pay attention, 
you will not get your miracles. And you will feel that God does not answer prayers. No. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want you to do. Wake up at midnight. There is power in midnight meditation. When you wake up, you go on your knees and say your normal prayers. First of all, ask God to forgive you. Tell him you are sorry. When you are done, you have to read the scripture. Read Psalm 118 verse 5. Let's go. Psalm 118 verse 5. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. So you can see for yourself. I called upon the Lord when you are in trouble, when you have a problem, when you have anything bothering you. Call upon the Lord. He would answer you. He would come to your aid. So that thing you have been praying for, pray very well and meditate. He would answer your prayer. When you call upon the Lord in distress, when you have problem, when you are in pain, He would answer you. But you need to listen. So read this scripture to assure yourself that God answers prayers and He will deliver you from your problem. When you are done with that, pray with the scripture. Lord, you have said in here that you will answer my prayer. You will deliver me and solve my problems for me. You will remove my pain, remove my hardship, remove penury, remove problems from my life. Answer me now, Lord, in distress. Answer me, Lord, I call upon you. Come to my aid. Now speak your request. Tell him what you want him to do for you. When you are done with that, cover your Bible and close your eyes. Close your eyes and listen. Make sure you do not sleep off. Listen and allow God to speak to you. Whenever we pray, God always speaks to us. It's just that immediately we are done praying. Our mind is divided to immoral things, to worldly things, how you will cook and eat. Listen. Close your eyes and listen. And anything that comes to your heart, just know that God is speaking to you. Anything positive. It's not as if maybe in your mind you have the thought of killing. No. Anything positive that comes to your heart, it is God that is speaking. You can still pray over it to reassure yourself that God is the one speaking. So close your eyes and open your heart. God will speak to you. And whatever he tells you, do that thing and you will watch your miracle. You will watch your breakthrough. Every midnight, always pray with a scripture. Even if you are not praying with Psalm 118, pray with any scripture. There is power in the scripture. The words of God, they are all recorded in the scripture. When you read the scripture, you assure yourself of the Lord's promises and you close your eyes, open your heart, meditate, think over that thing you have read. Open your heart. It is when you are doing that, God will reveal what he wants you to do to you. So always do that and you will see that that thing you have been praying for, God has already answered. He only wants you to listen, listen properly and get the message. Carry out his instructions and in fact, you will be glad you did. All your problems will be solved. He will tell you what to do. The easy thing to do to solve your problems, to get all that you desire. 